द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन तंजीम अहमद फ्रॉम इंडिया इन सम प्लेस इन इंडिया मुस्लिम आर बींग लिंचड इन दिस सिचुएशन नॉन मुस्लिम फर्स्ट आस्क हिज नेम इफ द नेम इज मुस्लिम देन दे किल एज एज वी आर मुस्लिम इन सच ए सिचुएशन कैन अ मुस्लिम से ही द नॉन मुस्लिम इन ऑर्डर टू सेव हिज लाइफ in a situation where someone forces you to say that you are non muslim or you are afraid that if you reveal your identity as being a muslim you can be killed or life is in danger according to the ruling allah says in the quran in surah nahl chapter number 16 verse number 104 as for those as for those who believe who accept the belief in allah as for those who accept the belief in allah and later on utter unbelief unless it be under compulsion where in the heart the faith is secured will be the wrath of allah and they will get a severe punishment that means after a person accepts islam he cannot utter unbelief there will be wrath of allah unless it is under compulsion but in his heart is belief and there are certain situations which are there at the time of the prophet it's mentioned in uh, sahih al-bukhari volume number 5 hadith number 4302 that ammar bin yasir may allah be pleased with him he was caught by the mushrikeen and then they forced him to say foul things about the prophet to say wrong things about the prophet and they force him to praise their god and since he was being threatened and his life was in danger he says it and then when he comes back to the prophet he narrates the incidents what had happened so the prophet asks him how are you now how is your heart so he says in my heart there is strong faith of islam so the prophet tells him that if they do it again to you do the same what you did that means the prophet said yes if someone forces you or threatens to kill you under such circumstances if you utter unbelief or if you say things which are not correct as long as in your heart is faith it is permissible so according to all the fuqahas it is permissible that if a muslim under compulsion if he is threatened that he may be killed or is threatened that his limb will be chopped off or he'll be beaten up and he cannot bear it so if there is such a force or threat to him all the fuqahs agree that it is permissible for him to utter unbelief to do shirk also it's permitted as long as in his heart there is iman so in this case as the brother asked that is it permissible that if he doubt that if he tells he discloses the identity as a muslim he may be killed he may be lynched yes it is permissible Now coming to the question, that is it permissible that if someone threatens? But here the fuqaha say the threat should be really threatening, either a threat of life, or chopping of the limb, or he is going to be beaten to death, or he is going to be imprisoned. But if it's just a small threat, then in this case there should not be any case of uttering his own belief. But really the threat should be severe and it should be real, and the person giving the threat. should be in a possibility should be in a situation where they can execute it not just for name sake come to the question that if in such a situation if a person does not utter unbelief and continues to be on continues to be firm on the faith and if he is tortured or if he is killed is it permissible and all the fuqahs say yes in such cases it is preferable and the best example you can give is of bilal bin raba may allah be pleased with him that he was a slave and he accepted islam and his master used to torture him and at one time they tortured him they were really going to kill him and they put a heavy stone on his chest imagine in a hot morning in the scorching heat there was a big rock put on his chest and you are asked 
to say that there is to speak against Allah and to speak against Islam and to say that the idols are his God but he kept on saying Ahad, Ahad, Ahad there's only one God there's only one God he did not mind the pain and the torture that is a high level of taqwa of course that is permissible and that is a higher level there's also another example which is there which is mentioned in Musaddaq al-Hakim volume number 2 hadith number 389 that when there were many of the uh, the prophet peace be upon him he says that in Bukhari in Sai Bukhari that there were people in the past who had so much of faith that when a hole was digged when a hole was dug and they were put into the hole and a saw was taken and the head was split into two yet they did not give up their faith there was an iron comb taken and flesh was removed and the bones could be seen yet they did not utter unbelief and they were on faith so of course if you are ready to bear the torture and you are ready to die but not give up your faith that's a high level of taqwa and in this case surely they have been granted jannah by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but if a person is threatened or his life is in danger if he is asked to say words of unbelief or if he has to say something which is un-Islamic under pressure it is permissible that he can utter this unbelief but the higher level is to stay on belief and not, not to say anything which is against Islam to stay on faith and not to utter any unbelief that is the higher level of taqwa hope that answers the question